when are you having a child? Your clock is ticking. What is wrong with y'all? Like, I really be wanting to ask people, like, are you, like... I like me better when I was yours. I'm going back, I'm going back. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So I haven't done a Q&A since the first year I started doing YouTube. So it's like six going on seven years now. But you guys know a lot has changed in my life in the last year, two years-ish. I was on Instagram, I was like asking questions and I was like, mm, why not film them? Do like an updated Q&A. So this is an update on my life. I'm gonna pull up the questions that I got, see, answer them the best that I can. And yeah, let's go. Okay, how's your fitness journey going? Um, it's going good. You guys know it's, listen, when you're on a fitness journey, whether it's gaining weight or losing weight and it's an actual journey, it's not one of those like, how do you grow a butt in two weeks or how do I lose 20 pounds in two weeks? Like not one of those like, how can I do this drastically? Which those rarely ever work and they're not good for you either. What is like an actual, you're trying to do this consistently, trying to make it a part of your life to be healthier, whichever way, you know, gaining or losing, it takes a minute, okay? But I did finally get over 130 pounds and stayed over there. And if you guys have noticed, especially since you know I do more like uh, content where you can see my full body on Instagram and TikTok, then uh, you guys are seeing like I'm building muscle. I started uh, weightlifting this year. I did just post a like some of my workout in a vlog I posted a couple weeks ago. Um, I started weightlifting. I'm getting better with actually eating how much I probably should, you know, like eating more than once a day. <laughs> but, um, but it's going good. You know, I like the results. I like that. Again, it's becoming like a routine type thing. I don't feel forced to do it. I actually like doing it now. Um, I'm supposed to try Pilates soon. Wish me luck on that one. But uh, yeah, it's going good. Um, and I wouldn't, I don't know at this point if I would say like, if I'm actually trying to achieve something at this point or if it's just like, it's just, it's part of my life now, you know? Like, am I trying to gain weight? Am I trying to, you know, build muscle anymore? I don't know, it's just kind of like a, I like it. I'm gonna keep doing it. Would you be open to starting your own clothing line? I'm I'm the type that says never say never, but like I'd probably be a little safe saying never. I don't know. Let me not say that because being a designer, you know, especially if you're someone like you're designing your own pieces and stuff like that, it is very hard. Okay, y'all know I love fashion. I love putting clothes uh, outfits together. Like I love piecing and stuff like that. But like. Owning a business in general is hard, but I don't know, I feel like clothing, especially if you're like inclusive with the sizing and then the, the running it part. And you know, I already do everything by myself. So I'm like, I don't know, it's just, it's very overwhelming. But I've, I've thought of that before, probably not. Mm. What gets you motivated to produce content on the days you're kind of just not feeling it? I don't produce content on those days because I feel like it shows, like it can show through your face that like, I'm just going through the motions of this and creating it. So that's why I bulk film. Oh, actually, even when I'm feeling good, actually when I'm feeling good is when I will bulk film the most. But um, yeah, I'll film like 10 uh, reels or TikToks in a day. I'll film like three YouTube videos in a day. So one, so I don't have to work that many days. And two, um, so those days were, or you know, especially that time of the month, which is coming. Um, I don't want to do anything. I can barely get out of bed someday. So I already have the content filmed. I'll just have to edit if I didn't already edit. So um, I just try to use my time better, I guess. Cause um, those days come, those days come where you're just like, you know, I just want to delete social media in general, okay? What made you decide to move to ATL? I got that a lot when I finally uh, moved. Um, I do not like Long Island. <laughs> I don't know if you guys couldn't catch that. Like when I was living there, I do not like like anything about Long Island. Um, I feel like if you're, well, uh, maybe if you're from Long Island, you might like it, I don't know. But like, everything is far away. A majority of the people suck. Like, I just didn't like anything about it. Well, why didn't you move to the city? Because I didn't want to live in a box, okay? Um, I did look at apartments in the city uh, and the places that I would want to live I wouldn't want to pay the price to live there. So I was like, okay, well, I'm moving out of state then. So it's like, okay, so what state you're gonna go to? I don't like 
LA. Like the few times that I've been there, I didn't like the vibe that I was getting there. Cause I wanna tell you, they were treating your girl like a zoo animal when she was there. Um, of course there are other parts of California, but I was just like, eh. It's, and it's on the other side of the country. I'm very big on family, so I didn't wanna be that far away. So I was like, okay, well, Georgia, the majority of my family is either in New York, Georgia, or Florida. So I was like, Georgia, you know, your family's already there. Um, everyone talks about how Atlanta is this, you know, you're going to be surrounded by black people. And I was like, I, I want that. <laughs> um, so I think that's, that's one of the reasons, but I was like, I need to leave. I just don't know where to leave, but I feel like this is where I would have the most comfort if I went. So that's why I went here. Do you regret moving? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Like, when I tell you like moving was probably one of the best things that I did. If anything, I regret not being able to move sooner because the pandemic happened that just put everything on hold for a minute. Um, no, I do not regret. Well, okay, if my parents see this, because they do watch my channel. I, of course, uh, I, I love my parents, right? That's the only thing that, that's the only thing that I miss in New York. People say, do you miss New York? Do you, no, no, absolutely not. I do not miss New York, except for the fact that I left my immediate family in New York. That's the only thing that I miss there. Other than that, do I regret? No, absolutely not. I love living down here. And then someone said, if it were one thing you change about Georgia, what would it be? Um, at least, for, oh, Keep in mind, I haven't been, you know, like here, there, there, there. Like I'm still confused on some of the towns and stuff like that. Like I'm still listening to people when they say, go here, do not go there. Um, so I don't really know much about down here as far as like that goes, but like I changed one thing. I ain't signed up for the bugs that y'all have down here. All right. Cause they're not like normal bugs. Like what, what are they eating down here that the bugs are that big, that they look like that, that uh, no, that would be one thing that I change and you know to kind of piggyback off what I just said I uh, Would change like having my my parents down here like have my parents live in the same state as me I know that might be a little spoiled, but uh, you know what they raised me um, Yeah, those are the only things that I would change some of the clubs and places that I've been to a little bit I've changed some of those too, but other than that not much have you made genuine friends since moving or just influencer friends? Also, have you met any mean girls? That is actually a good way to phrase that question. Cause like when you're in the influencer world and you're befriending people, there's a difference, okay? And I think a lot of people don't get that difference, which is why when you see influencers fall out, like they immediately start telling each other's business. They start throwing each other under the bus, all that stuff. Cause y'all were never really friends. Y'all were associates on social media, right? Even the influencers that meet each other in real life, you're still some some of you are still just associates in real life y'all just go to the same clubs y'all go to the same events um y'all create the y'all you know bounce content ideas off each other stuff like that but you're not friends right but i tell you like i've had someone they probably couldn't even tell you what my birthday is right and it's a holiday <laughs> my birthday is a holiday and they probably couldn't tell you when my birthday is but like would call themselves a friend that's not a friend so have i made genuine friends since moving down here yes i have ironically though um some of those genuine friends that i have made since moving down here are influencer friends that i knew online right actually i feel like a majority actually, not all of them um are people i had known online on social media and stuff like that and it's like well now since we're in a closer uh, vicinity to each other is like now we can go out now we can really get to know each other um and when i think like genuine friends i mean like now like I, i'll text you i'll check on you if i haven't talked to you in a little minute like i'll uh, call you up like hey do you want this do you want to do that like that type of genuine friendship yes i have uh made some of those since moving down here influencer friends yeah you know people like i'm gonna see you at events since events are starting are starting back up again um, again, the whole, like, I'll support you on social media because I want to see you win. I've made some of those too. Have I met any mean girls? Because I don't, I don't know if y'all know. Because I mentioned this in the last vlog that I posted. I was like, you know, I've heard what people say about some of the people in Atlanta. Someone was like, what have you heard about people in Atlanta? Y'all don't have, like, the best reputation. Especially if you're listening to what people say, like, online. But even the people that I've met, like since moving down here, I've said the same thing, that there is a large amount of people in Atlanta who 
they want to be seen they want to be part of the it crowd you know they they don't really want to befriend you they just want people to think that you are friends because it's beneficial y'all know what i'm trying to say like me being seen with you is going to do something for me like that type of thing that type of vibe i've seen a lot of uh story times on tiktok of girls who are like i moved to atlanta and i can't make any friends because girls want to be in a competition or girls want to sleep with uh your boyfriend if you have one like that type of thing y'all have a reputation for that new york i would say like the girls they have a reputation being mean which shoe kind of fits um but i feel like atlanta kind of has a reputation of the girls being mean and fake um i haven't ran into too many of those but going off the uh the last part of that question have i met any mean girls i have i've met you know one or two um and it's really it doesn't really bother me like i just keep it pushing you know like i said i don't really regret anything moving down here like i'm at an age where i don't care <laughs> you know like once i peep what it is i'm gonna keep it pushing i don't care it's funny that those two questions are right next to each other uh the first one says girl is you single and <laughs> And uh, the answer to that is no. Um, I mentioned a couple of vlogs ago that I do have a boyfriend. The one right next to it says, how'd you meet your boyfriend? Who's funnier, you or Andrea? Favorite restaurant in Atlanta so far. Um, how'd I meet him? Ironically, I went to dinner with Tasha and Drea. And you know, like when you just, you're catching up with the girls, like you're, this is what my love life is like. This is what my non-existent love life is like, like that, that type of stuff. We were having that type of conversation. And then Tasha, uh, Tasha just randomly goes, I have your future husband. I'm gonna make this happen. I'm like, mm, okay, you know, like when people wanna play matchmaker, like, okay, we'll see how this goes. But he messaged me the same night and we have pretty much been together ever since. So, you know, she, she was probably right. She probably did just introduce me to my future husband. Um, who's funnier, me or Drea? I feel like, you know, the nice thing to do would be to say like, Drea's the funnier one. But I'm gonna be honest, I feel like we're, equally funny but for different reasons much it's always a great time when i'm with Drea. um we're equally funny like we're always laughing at each other me more so because i am that like blunt like you know when someone says something and you know like they're probably joking when they say it but you're also like are you kind of being serious right now like i have that type of blunt dry humor type thing and Drea's funny because she's she's just goofy <laughs> you know like you need that friend like the their personality is just bubbly it's always just a good time um they they just randomly say and do stuff that's funny so it always keeps a smile on your face like that's why we're both funny in different ways because you know sometimes you need that little sassy friend that's gonna they're gonna say the things that you're thinking in your head but you're not gonna say it that's me um and the last one was favorite restaurant in atlanta so far Ooh, um, I've tried a lot. I feel like if you follow on, uh, if you follow the vlogs, if you follow uh, little mini vlogs on Instagram or TikTok, you know, I go out to eat a lot. Um, but I have to say, I think my favorite place is the one that I want to go, like I always want to go back. Ooh, no, but I like Kona Grill. I like Kona Grill. It's at Avalon in Alpharetta. Um, but I also like Crab Man 305 because my favorite food is crab. So uh, I would, mm, I'd probably have to say it. Like if someone right now said which one you want to go to, I'd probably say Crab Man 305. So Crab Man 305, Bacona Grill, um, Rocksteady for my Haitians, if you want Haitian food. Um, I've been to a lot of places that had good food. The, I'm Southern food? Y'all got it y'all got it like new york okay your little pizza cute but southern food how y'all make food down here completely different and much better someone also said how's the dating scene in atlanta um because i i feel like i also got a question uh beforehand like in one of the videos or someone was like what's the dating scene because i heard it's very hard for women now did i just say i have a boyfriend yes i did but also keep in mind how i met him like i had to meet him through someone else right and mind you when i moved here like everyone was telling me like do not date a man that is from atlanta like you gotta date another transplant Ooh. Huh? tell my youtube video hi i'm filming hi, <laughs> hi friend are you filming yeah 
was I saying? I know we were talking about the dating scene, but I had said something. I said, like, even though I met him, I met him through someone. Oh, um, I was saying because when I moved down here, everyone that I know, like family, friends, stuff like that, they were like, you can't date a man that's actually like from Atlanta. You have to meet another transplant, someone who has moved here from someplace else. And, you know, they're probably right. But even then, even dating, you know, men that have moved here from someone else, listen, you know when people say like it just comes to you by surprise it technically did come to me by surprise like I didn't expect that when I was going out to dinner with them that night because if you're like actively looking out in these streets it is it is rough okay listen I think the very first man that I met moving down here mind you we were in um it's a restaurant called Pasha uh we're standing in the doorway waiting for our table to open and when I hear like you hear like a hey hey like 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 you're calling a dog. This man is barking over at me. Andrea's like, he's talking to you. You gonna go over there? Like, she's so annoying. Um, but it's one of those like, I could buy you this. I could take you there. I could do this. And I'm looking like, first of all, ew. Like, you meet men down here who like all they have to offer is money, and they don't have anything else that like you would want. And it's like. Okay, money is cute and like you being able to buy things or take you places is cute, but I would still have to one, look at you and two, talk to you and no. Um, there's there's the, uh, the, the uh, for some reason, for some reason, I attract a whole bunch of like aspiring rappers and overseas ball players. Um, there was one like he like airdropped me his EP and I was like, he didn't even ask for my name. Like, mm. What is the dating scene like down here? It is rough. I'm gonna be honest, okay? You know how you hear people saying like, don't move down here to find your husband, stuff like that. To an extent, they have a point. But also like, to an extent, like a lot of people be dragging it because go to any like major city, anything like, ask me what it's like dating men in New York, okay? I t <laughs> They'll push you in front of the train for not wanting to give your phone number, okay? Um, dating men in LA, dating men in Houston, Dallas, Miami, like you ask the women that live in those places, they're all going to tell you, don't come here to find your husband, okay? You're gonna have to, you know, you're gonna have to go through the trenches and find him wherever he is, right? Because even, you know, like Arizona, Alabama, I'm sure those women will say the same thing. You gotta realize men suck everywhere, okay? You gotta find the one that's for you somewhere. You're gonna find them, it's gonna take a while, but that's the best that I got on the dating scene down here. You just gotta keep pushing. When are you having a child? Your clock is ticking. What is wrong with y'all? Like, I really be wanting to ask people like, are, like, I really want people to sit and think to themselves, does that really sound like a normal question? Especially to a stranger, right? Cause people say that to friends and family all the time, even then, not normal. But like, really ask yourself, would you go up to a stranger because you've seen, like, I'm not gonna see Beyonce on the street like, hey, when you're giving us another child, you know, you're gonna hit like 40, did she hit 40 yet? But y'all get the point, like, that sounds normal to you. Mind you, I am 28, I just turned 28 like three months ago. <laughs> and I, I, I was talking about this on Twitter where I think for the last two years, is when I've gotten that question the most. Like, I, apparently a lot of people think my clock is ticking now, so I get that question. I'm pretty sure I get that more than I get like when you're getting married or anything like that. Like, so we don't care anymore. I guess like after 25, we don't care about the first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes, they like skip all of that, okay? Your eggs are, are drying up. When are we getting children? Because that I, that is what I get most in the last two years. Um, I also had someone who said, do you even want children? Cause you're acting like you're gonna be able to have them forever. And I'm like, again, a stranger while I was minding my business on Instagram. Um, do I want children? Yes. Yeah, well, as, listen, as more time goes on, like you hear things about pregnancy, like your teeth falling out. There was the woman, she had like breast milk coming out of her armpit. You know, the more you hear about it, the more I'm like, you know, do I want children? But um, also like the more you live, you're like, do I want to bring children into this world? Like, you know, like that's a very big responsibility, having a child because like you are responsible for that child who was then going to become a member of society. And it's like a lot of 
the decisions that you make and a lot of the things that you do leading up to them being their own you know person in society like you're framing that person and you know, a lot of people say well it's not your parents fault that you ended up being like this or being like that yeah it is it is okay a lot of the decisions that you make will be the result of what happens later on that's a very big responsibility that i have i realized that right so when i do i want to make sure that i am like you're not gonna be fully equipped but y'all get the point like i want to do it the best that i can obviously with the best person that i can so it's like at 28 the fact that i'm not rushing to do that yet like the world is not ending but yes i do want to have children where do you get your style inspiration from everywhere everywhere i feel like if you look at the outfits that i post like you'll see you know grunge one day you'll see uh what's that show that everyone's on bridgenton I don't watch the show, but I see how they dress on there. And I'm like, I, w I might want to dress like that one day. I could give Jada Waiter one day if I want to, which mind you, I love that TikTok sound. I'm going to be Jada Waiter. Um, it, it really just depends. I get it from everywhere. Um, you know, I follow fashion pages. Um, people that give me style inspiration. Um, of course, Rihanna. Um, i trying to think. Tierra Walker, great place for style inspiration. Uh, Diera, great place for style inspiration. And you see how like they have two different aesthetics. Um, who else? I'm trying to think. Not my camera died while I was trying to answer that. The question was, uh, what advice can I give on getting an internship? And like I said, it's been a minute since I tried to get one, so what I did back in the day might not be what you would need to do. But um, apply. For everything same with a job like nowadays like with the job things apply for everything because like what's the worst thing that that can happen you don't get it like they're not gonna email you or call you and berate you like how dare you apply for this if it's an internship you want it you think you can do what they're saying the requirements of the internship apply for it apply for it um even somewhere it might not necessarily be something like you fully get but you can be taught how to do it apply for it um I, again, I don't know like uh, if more people are paying for interns now because you know that was a thing that uh, people were talking about like free work. Cause that's pretty much what it is. Um, but yeah, since I haven't done it in a minute, I can't give like the best advice. But that's apply for it if you see it. Like it, you, you thought about it, you had to hesitate on should I apply for it? Dinner, just another reason to get dressed up and make more. Co oh, is he asking me to dinner? No. When are we going on vacation again? Let me know the time and the place. Okay, my passport's ready. Uh, do you think it's fine for me to have a sneaky link that doesn't speak English? This, okay, I, it's a question. Yeah, but it's not a question for me. But I mean, I don't think he needs to speak English to sneakily link what you're linking up to do, so have fun. Um, and since my camera already died, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. You know, and anyway, um, but yeah, so those are the questions that I had to, that I had answers for in this video. Um, let me know if you guys wanna see like another part, another update, and I hope that kind of gives like an update to where I am right now, um, how life is going for me. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for all the support throughout the years since it's been a minute since the last q a that i did thank you for sticking around to watch the growth throughout that time and yeah let me know if you have any other questions in the comments down below I'll, again i'll answer what i can answer and make sure to thumbs up comment subscribe turn notification bells all of that down below thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.